Hey everyone, welcome to Xvolt Tech. Just yesterday, macOS Sonoma was released to the general public. As is with any new release of macOS, it's received lots of praise for its new features that allow easier use with other Apple devices and user functionality. However, as is with any kind of Apple launch event, it's received lots of comments of people saying that Apple's recycling. I'm not here to defend or bash macOS for its recycling. Rather, I'm here to rationalize as to why Apple doesn't really introduce many new or innovative features to macOS. One of the big new features used to promote macOS Sonoma are the new customizable desktop widgets. When I first heard of that, my reaction was... Didn't Vista do that 17 years ago? This is very common about any Apple OS, as Apple is never first to introduce any OS features. Swipe keyboard introduced in 2019 with iOS 13? Ha! Android did it first in 2016! And so on and so forth. However, when I was researching macOS Sonoma's features, I made a bit of a realization. Much of the features that Apple adds to their OS's already exist on other operating systems, and when it comes to apps, already exist on third-party apps. So, based on that, my conclusion is that Apple is doing this so that more people use first-party apps rather than third-party. That's right, by making most features native to Apple, you wouldn't really have to install any new apps. Safari trying to replace Chrome and Firefox with profiles, and FaceTime imitating many of Zoom's features, widgets replacing... Windows? And by making macOS look more like iOS and iPadOS, Apple's trying to portray themselves as the do-everything company. Apple's been trying to portray themselves in this way for nearly two decades, as if you go all the way back to the Mac vs. PC ads that were made between 2006 and 2009, there are a handful of examples of them trying to portray themselves as sometimes more of the casual, laid-back, you know, family computer, and sometimes they have been shown themselves to be more superior than PC in other things as well. Other companies aren't really trying this to the degree that Apple is. Because of how easy it is to just get onto an Apple device and start using it, and as well as how easy it is to navigate the system, it does make it really easy for brand new Apple users to get accustomed to the OS and figure out how to use their phone in a matter of seconds. Same thing with Mac OS, so it completely wipes Windows and Android and other operating systems out of the competition when it comes to ease of use. This, alongside Apple embracing itself as a status symbol, is kind of a reason why there's a lot more Apple users out there, especially those in young millennial and Gen Z populations, as when you compare the statistics over all the generations, people under 30 use Apple devices more than any other device. And a big factor of this is the social status, as of course, when you buy an iPhone, you're basically telling everyone, Hey, I have an iPhone! And especially since Gen Z is still young and still cares about their social status, they want to be seen as, you know, one with everyone else. So when someone sees that you have that little green text bubble, they're probably not going to want to talk to you. That's a real thing, by the way. So, because of this growing demand for Apple products among the younger generations, Apple is integrating more third-party features into their OS, so it's easy for people to do the things that they need to do faster. This seems to be part of Apple marketing its products as an all-in-one kind of thing, where it can do everything the competition can do without needing much third-party support. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about Apple's decisions in this matter, as this is coming from the viewpoint of someone who grew up with Windows their entire life. And with that, thanks for watching.